YouTube. I'm here with Robin and Sarah, whose channel names I'll put in the description below if you want to check them out because both of their channels are really similar to mine. They do really cool stuff. Earlier today, we were talking about how, well, actually, I asked Robin if I could borrow her laptop. And then I freaked out for no reason. <laughs> and But the funny thing is, I totally understood because when someone asks to borrow my laptop, I like, I like dive. I like slide into home base. Like, no, hold on. Let me just, there's nothing. I was like, it. let me get you a fresh browser. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like my browser was like, like dirty for some reason. She didn't even go like incognito window. She gave me like a whole new browser. I just want to get you as far away from my stuff. I'll create as a personal login for you so you can have your own like desktop. <laughs> I don't know when this happened. You remember, you guys remember like family computers? Yes. And yeah. it wasn't even weird. Like doing all of your homework on the computer in the hallway and your parents would like look over you. It was yeah. fine. But like there was a point where it was not even a big deal to share a computer with people. And yeah. And then at some point it like became that your computer is your soul. At some point it like is a part of you. Yeah. And it wasn't a part of you when it was everyone's, but then when you have your own, it just is so personal. Yeah. Which is weird because we all have so many computer-like devices. And yeah. yet like you, you'd think we'd be less protective of them as opposed to more. No, but I think the more you have, the more you like hoard them. Like, no, these are mine. Here's a funny scenario to think about. Okay, imagine someone says, hey, can I check my email really quick on your phone? Could you imagine? Oh my that? god! Could you I'm sorry, imagine? Right? There's Whoa. a reason why no one ever asked to do that. Right. It's like an unspoken thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is like when you react that way people are like what do you have on their porn there's I nothing like embarrassing it's the idea that like you're admitting you're like boring enough to not have anything right. embarrassing. so like when I'm like rushing to be like oh let me just check to make sure there's nothing weird like what am I even looking for a hypothetical like, document that will like doom you yeah, to being made exactly. fun of until the end of time well I mean it's not weird to ask somebody if you're driving to like send a text for you but then again like I still get like oh my god they're holding my phone there's like the possibility that my life yeah. could like change any second now or like have oh or like, so you have someone like, hey, can you take a picture for me? And then right. you get a text while they're doing that. And they're like, oh, you got a text from me. And you're like, oh, let me oh. just hold on. I don't, oh. It's never bad. It's never bad. But it's always no. still weird. This may be a little bit unrelated, but have you ever um, gotten really, really emotional over losing an electronic device? Oh my god, yeah. Okay. My okay. laptop was stolen. Somebody kicked my air conditioner out of my window, came into my apartment while I was asleep, and left with my computer, and it had my novel on it. I was, like, I had post-traumatic stress. Yeah. Like, I'm not kidding. I had to hide my electronics while I, like, peed for, like, the next six months. And here's the thing is that that's actually, that's actually a tragic story. Yes, right? right? That's, one like, time, serious. One time my phone wasn't working very well, so I took it to a Sprint store, and they're like, oh, we're gonna need to, like, hard reset it. Just the idea that all of my apps and like the order in which I had placed like you them might on my your phone, contacts. you like, might. Well, not like, even right? that. Just like I didn't, you know, that like I might not remember all the apps that I use, and I had to re-download them. Like ruined my whole week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's not even losing a laptop. That's just like my phone well, being I think rearranged. It's the smaller things that freak you out more than the bigger things. The idea that like the email you're typing could disappear. Here's a big fear of mine. Someone borrows your computer and then closes all your tabs. Oh my god. I'm like, mm -hmm. what was I looking at? I will what never remember my. Tumblr password ever yeah. again. <laughs> done. No, my mom made huge fun of me because when I had to trade in, I was getting a new laptop and I had to trade in my old laptop. I have a video on this on my channel, but I, I cried. I cried in Best Buy. I was bawling my eyes out. There's a picture of me crying with the Best Buy signs everywhere and just like I'm holding my new computer and just crying over my old one. Were these happy tears or these were like No, goodbye? these were I was mourning it. I was mourning the laptop. So if you've probably noticed, we have a bunch of balloons back here, <laughs> and we have this fun thing that we're doing with all three of the videos that we're filming today. We are telling you where we found them, but two of the stories are going to be lies, and one of them will be the truth. So if you want to watch all the videos and let us know in the comments which one you think is the truth, you should do that. I'll put links to their videos at the end. The story that I will tell you about how we found these balloons <laughs> is that we are staying at this really weird quirky hotel and it's like painted bright blue and there's all sorts of weird like farm paraphernalia everywhere but while the Wonderly girls are staying there there's also this I'm assuming bachelorette party it was weird yeah it was like yeah. crazy like people going nuts and like dressed all sort of you know bachelorette party like um and the, the big night I'm assuming they went and they just tied balloons all over the hotel so we like got out of our hotel rooms and there were just balloons everywhere and you know that might bother some people but we saw it as free balloons so we went and just like took a bunch of them and we've got a whole bunch of balloons in our hotel rooms and we decided to bring some to these the there's more where these came from oh yeah we just picked like the, the choice colors these were all that would fit in my car it, exactly <laughs> safely to drive so yeah that's where we got these balloons maybe 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 thanks for watching again check out their channels check out their videos let us know which story you think is the true one also let us know your paranoias about electronics 
because I'm sure you guys have them too. 